okay we had already learned in the previous class that there were three types of data types data that we can enter in excel right number text and formula by default text is left aligned alignment of the text that is left aligned and by default numbers are right aligned numbers and formulas together they are called values and calculation can be done only on values okay numbers and formulas together they are called values and calculations can be done only on values three types of cell references we had done in the previous class relative reference absolute reference and mixed reference now which symbol is used for making the cell as a absolute reference dollar dollar sign okay dollar sign symbol is used for making the cell reference as absolute reference okay next question that we are going to understand is that is editing the cell contents editing the cell contents now editing the cell contents means whether you want to replace the full value or whether you want to make the partial editing if you want to replace the value of a cell replace karna just click on the cell and type a new value automatically old value will be replaced automatically old value will be replaced theek hai aapko sirf cell ke upar click karna hai jisme already data hai type the new value purani value ko erase karne ki zarurat nahi hai that will automatically be replaced partial replacement partial editing partial editing means when you want to make a changes in the existing value aapko existing value mein changes karni hai so there are three ways to do the partial editing for doing the partial editing you need cursor in the cell and for taking the cursor for bringing the cursor in the cell we can press f2 key click on the cell press f2 key or double click on the cell or click on formula oh, bar so for partial editing there are three methods not down editing for editing you need f2 key or you can press the double click on the cell to bring cursor in the cell or click on the formula bar that is for partial editing next is selecting a range how to select a range of the cells one thing is you can drag the mouse over the cells that you want to select second you can use a keyboard to select a range of cells one you can drag the mouse over the cells that you want to select like this we are dragging the mouse or you can use the keyboard how keyboard press the shift key and use the arrow keys press the shift key and use the arrow keys to select a range of cells and if you want to select a complete row or a complete column <coughs> what will you do if you want to select a complete row or a complete column first shift you can okay that is a shortcut key from the keyboard one method can click, on the, the uh, click on the column name or whatever click on the column name agar mujhe pura b column select karna hai click on the column name b it will select the complete column if you want to select a complete row click on the row number click on the row number and if you want to select multiple columns or multiple rows click on the row drag the mouse downwards or upwards it will select the complete rows consecutive rows and if you want to select the consecutive columns <coughs> click on the column and drag the mouse to select the consecutive columns adjacent columns and if you want to select the complete row place your cursor in any cell press shift plus space bar shift plus space bar <coughs> it will select the complete row 
or you can press the control plus shift plus space bar it will select the complete column control plus shift plus space bar it will select the complete column note down the important points second if you want to select the adjacent rows one is you press this click on the column name you can drag it or you can press the shift key and click on any other column like this suppose when a b column we click kiya complete b column is selected press the shift key bench le ke yahan press the shift key and click on any other column like this it will select the complete rows adjacent rows but if you want to select the non adjacent rows mujhe non adjacent row select karni hai i can press the control key and i can select it like this this is by pressing the control key on the keyboard one click on this click on this shift key press karke it will select the adjacent columns click on this press shift key complete rows puri puri row select ho rahi hai adjacent select ho rahi hai shift ke sath but if i want non adjacent press the control key it will select the complete row non adjacent rows or this is your select all button at the top of number 1 and towards the left of a this is select all click on this complete worksheet will be selected complete worksheet or select all shortcut key for select all control plus a ठीक है सो देर आर मेनी सिलेक्शन मैथड्स वन क्लिक ऑन दिस प्रेस द शिफ्ट की क्लिक ऑन दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो वन मैथड टू सेलेक्ट द रेंज नाउ आई कैन ड्रैग इट लाइक दिस प्रेस द शिफ्ट की और यू कैन सिलेक्ट लाइक दिस प्रेस कंट्रोल की मल्टीपल रेंजेस बट नॉन एडजस्टेंट बाय प्रेसिंग द कंट्रोल की you can select the multiple ranges non adjacent cells single single cell chahiye mujhe sirf inka color change karna hai either single cell or a range press control key okay now shortcut key for selecting a complete row control uh, complete row shift plus space bar and for selecting the complete column Control plus Shift plus Space Bar. हाँ जी, selection clear है? Yes, anyone? Selection clear है बच्चों? Priti, Ramanjit, Pranay. Okay. Next is copy the range. If you want to copy a number of cells, there are how many methods to copy the cells? What is the difference between copying and moving? What is the difference between copying and moving? Mam, copying is when we uh, copy the given data and copy paste it at data. another location, and uh, the moving is when we uh, take the, uh, when we change the location of the existing data to another place. Moving means we changing the location of the data from one position to another. Copying means we are creating the duplicate copy of the data. we are creating a duplicate copy of the data that means there will be data at two places so how many methods are there for copying the data copying or moving five five methods correct five methods one method select the range use the cut copy paste options from the standard mm -hmm. toolbar second method using the shortcut keys third method using the which menu which edit. menu edit menu okay using the edit menu then use shortcut keys cut copy paste buttons on standard toolbar then you can have the cut copy paste options by 
right clicking using the shortcut menu ठीक है right click then use the options fifth method dragging by drag and drop method drag and drop method here we are dragging it it is moving हां जी मूविंग हां जी क्लियर है बेटा कट कॉपी पेस्ट के तीनों मेथड्स फाइव मेथड्स क्लियर हो गए ओके okay, नेक्स्ट वन इफ आई के से गिव मी द स्टेप्स टू कॉपी रेंज ऑफ सेल्स स्टेप्स फोर स्टेप्स बताओ क्या आएंगे वट आर द फोर स्टेप्स फॉर कॉपिंग स्टेप्स मैथड हो गए इफ आई से गिव एनी यूज एनी वन मैथड एंड गिव मी द कम्प्लीट स्टेप्स टू कॉपी द सेल्स सेलेक्ट द रेंज ऑफ सेल्स दैट यू वॉन्ट टू कॉपी सेकेंड Edit menu, copy option, then where you want to paste. ठीक है place your cursor और click on the cell, target cell, destination cells. Then fourth step. And then right click on it or right click on it then. पेस्ट ऑप्शन और यू कैन यूज आपने एडिट मेन्यू से शुरू किया तो यू कैन यूज फोर्थ स्टेप एस क्लिक ऑन एडिट मेन्यू पेस्ट ऑप्शन ठीक है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेलेक्ट द सेल्स क्लिक ऑन एडिट मेन्यू कॉपी ऑप्शन गो टू द टारगेट सेल देन क्लिक ऑन एडिट मेन्यू पेस्ट ऑप्शन ठीक है यू कैन यूज एनी वन मैथड एंड गिव द स्टेप्स क्वेश्चन कैन बी लाइक दिस गिव द स्टेप्स टू कॉपी using any method or give the steps to copy or move the contents of a cell by using shortcut keys so select the cell press control plus x then go to the target cell click on the target cell then press control plus v okay next is erasing or clearing ranges and deleting the content for deleting the content which option is used for deleting the contents of a cell which option is used edit menu delete content option or you can press the delete key from the keyboard it will also open the delete content dialog box when we press the edit menu delete content it will open the delete content dialog box or <coughs> you can press the delete key it will also open the delete content dialog box or you can right click and choose delete content option you can right click and choose delete content option okay now right click delete content option it will open the delete content dialog box okay or you can press the delete key from keyboard it will again open the delete content dialog box or you can have the edit menu delete content option okay delete content option or delete option are different delete cell option and delete content options are different delete content option means the values of the cell the contents of the cell theek okay? hai and delete content option have many options dialog box has many options kon kon si delete all text numbers date and time formulas notes formats and objects 
ठीक है टेक्स्ट मीन्स इफ द वी आर सेलेक्टिंग द मल्टीपल रेंजेस ऑफ द सेल या ज्यादा सेल हमने सेलेक्ट कर लिए उसमें से सिर्फ टेक्स्ट वैल्यूज को डिलीट करना है नंबर्स और फॉर्मूलाज को डिलीट नहीं करना तो इट विल डिलीट ओनली द टेक्स्ट वैल्यूज लाइक दिस सपोज आई एम हैविंग सम वैल्यूज है ठीक है हेयर वी आर हैविंग सपोज सम फॉर्मूला इज ऑल्सो देअ okay i'm copying this formula Here again we are having some text values text is by default left line numbers are right line formulas are there numbers are there now select the range go to delete edit my new delete content if i select only text कि मुझे टेक्स्ट डिलीट करना है बाकी सब डीसेलेक्ट कर दो क्लिक ऑन ओके इट विल डिलीट ओनली टेक्स्ट वैल्यूज ठीक है इफ आई हैड फॉर्मेटेड दिस टेक्स्ट मैंने इसको फॉर्मेट किया बोल्ड किया कलर चेंज किया ओके नाउ एड इट मैन न्यू डिलीट कंटेंट एंड इफ आई से ओके कुछ भी डिलीट नहीं करना है सिर्फ फॉर्मेट्स डिलीट करो ओनली फॉर्मेट्स बाकी सब डिसलेक्ट कर दिया then it will be only formatting will be deleted rest of the content will remain same content will not be deleted only formatting will be deleted clear if i say formulas formulas only formulas now formula column is deleted if i say no mujhe formulas nahi delete karne hai sirf numbers delete karne hai okay only numbers नंबर्स एंड फॉर्मूलाज डिलीट करने हैं तो दोनों गए तो वी कैन सेलेक्ट द कंटेंट विच टाइप ऑफ कंटेंट यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीट सो वेरियस ऑप्शन ऑफ द डिलीट कंटेंट डायलॉग बॉक्स आर डिलीट ऑल टेक्स्ट नंबर्स डेट एंड टाइम फॉर्मूलाज नोट्स फॉर्मेट्स एंड ऑब्जेक्ट लर्न द ऑप्शन ऑफ द डिलीट कंटेंट डायलॉग बॉक्स यस मैम मैम जो ऑब्जेक्ट होते हैं वो शेप्स और एरोस जैसे होते हैं गैलरी के किसी सेल में कोई ऑब्जेक्ट इंसर्ट किया है दैट कैन आल्सो बी डिलीटेड ओके ठीक है शेप्स जो हमें डिलीट करेंगे वो किसी पर्टिकुलर सेल में नहीं इंसर्ट हो रही ठीक है तो वैसे भी इंसर्ट ही नहीं हो रही okay next is naming a range how to give a name to a range suppose i am having some values here i want to give a name to this range mujhe ye nahi likhna d10 to d14 i want to give a name to this range mujhe ha jab bhi formula mein use karna hai instead of using d10 to d14 i want to use the name suppose i select this cell click on this range name box name box click here and type a name now this range has a name click anywhere it will give you the name of the cell but when i select this it will give me the range here price now i can use this name in the formulas or functions like is equal to sum bracket price so instead of giving d10 colon d15 i am using name instead of using column name d1 d10 to d15 i am using range sum price if i say is equal to max price तो इस रेंज में जो मैक्सिमम वैल्यू है दैट विल बी रिटर्न क्लियर नेमिंग अ रेंज हाउ टू गिव अ नेम टू द रेंज सेलेक्ट द रेंज गो टू द नेम बॉक्स एंड टाइप द नेम हाउ विल यू गिव अ नेम टू अ रेंज हाउ विल यू नेम अ रेंज क्लिक ऑन द सेलेक्ट द रेंज ऑफ सेल्स देन गो टू द नेम बॉक्स एंड टाइप द नेम इन द नेम बॉक्स that will give you the name 
<coughs> Next is filling a range. You want to use the auto fill handle. Fill a range. So a fill handle kya hota hai? What is fill handle? What is fill handle? This small rectangle, small square at the bottom right corner of the cell. This small square at the bottom right corner of the cell. When we place my mouse pointer, it changes to a plus symbol and drag it. It is a ray. It is a fill handle. It is a fill handle. Fill handle is used to fill the range of cells with a particular value. Suppose I am giving want to fill a series. I said Jan. And drag it. It will give me the name of months. If I say no, मुझे पूरा चाहिए, I will give a name. Then click on this cell. Place your mouse pointer on fill handle and drag it. It will give the full name. Similarly, if you want to have the weekdays full or half, click here and fill it. It will fill the range. ठीक है? Or you can say, click here, edit menu, fill option, series option, downwards or upwards, fill handle and series option, edit menu, fill handle and series option. You can select series down up. Okay. So it will fill the values. So two options are there to fill the series. One is edit menu, fill option, series option. Second, you can drag the auto fill handle, auto fill handle, and fill the values. Similarly, if you want to copy the value, suppose मुझे same content सारे cells में चाहिए, a few cells में. मुझे same content चाहिए. I want to have the same content. So you can type anyone. Suppose मुझे S U P W कुछ students का fill करना है continuously. I fill it like this. So it will copy the value of one cell to the number of cell. Suppose ज़्यादा तर students ने science club choose किया. I fill the science. ठीक है. Then I drag it. It will fill the values for all. रैंडमली किसी का अगर चेंज करना है तो आई कैन क्लिक ऑन एनी वेयर एंड चेंज इट बट रेस्ट ऑफ द वैल्यूज आई डू नॉट नीड टू फिल मुझे सारी जगह साइन साइंस फिल करने की जरूरत नहीं है आई कैन फिल द वैल्यूज आई कैन कॉपी द वैल्यूज जस्ट बाय ड्रैगिंग द माउस बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फिल एक्सटेंड द सीरीज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द नंबर इन अ पर्टिकुलर रेंज देन यू हैव टू टाइप टू वैल्यूज फर्स्ट टू वैल्यूज first value second value to show the difference between those two select both then drag it so it will continue to fill the values like this suppose i am saying product 1 then when i drag it it will be like this product 2 product 3 product 4 number will continue If I say suppose मुझे number of years fill करने हैं nineteen seventy five nineteen seventy seven nineteen seven you fill only two now difference between these two will be extended difference between these two values will be extended if I put some date or if I put some time ठीक है I can go I can select And I can drag. Okay. See after twenty three, twenty four, then it will come again one. This is time. Okay. This is time. Similarly, you can have the dates. You can have the dates. You can have the range of any dates. Seventy six. मंथ का डिफरेंस है ओके सेलेक्टेड और अगर ईयर का डिफरेंस है या कोई डेट का डिफरेंस है दैट यू कैन आल्सो हैव सी क्लियर हाउ टू एक्सटेंड द सिलेक्शन 
if you want to fill the month name and weekdays you have to fill only one value if you want to have the difference of any number you can fill the two values and drag it okay now filling a range by dragging through the fill handle is known as replication what do you mean by replication page number 246 definitions underline kya karo filling a range by dragging the fill handle is called replication filling a range by dragging through the fill handle is known as replication mam auto fill bhi same hai auto fill se fill fill handle means auto fill handle fill handle is auto fill handle theek hai you can drag it down or you can drag it right also you can drag it right also up also minus if you drag it upward it will minus if you drag it leftward it will minus but if you drag it right it will positive theek okay? hai you can drag it in all the four sides you can drag it in all the four sides okay han ji saving a workbook how many methods to save three methods kon kon se फाइल मेन्यू सेव ऑप्शन शॉर्टकट की शॉर्टकट की क्या है कंट्रोल प्लस एस एंड थर्ड मेथड स्टैंडर्ड टूल बार सेव बटन ऑन स्टैंडर्ड टूल बार थ्री मेथड्स टू सेव थ्री मेथड्स टू ओपन थ्री मेथड्स टू न्यू थ्री मेथड्स फॉर न्यू वर्कबुक फाइल मेन्यू न्यू ऑप्शन फाइल मेन्यू ओपन ऑप्शन फाइल मेन्यू सेव ऑप्शन New button, open button, and save button on standard toolbar. Shortcut key for new, Control plus N, for open, Control plus O, and for save, Control plus S. Okay. Next is what is the extension of Excel uh, Calci workbook? What is the extension of Calci workbook? ODS. Dot ODS. Dot ODS. What is the extension of Calci workbook? Dot ODS. How to quit a workbook? Close a workbook. File menu. Control plus Q. Control plus K. Control plus Q. Alt plus F4. I am not asking about worksheet. Okay, so look. Exit Control plus Q. Correct. And you can also press Alt plus F4. Shortcut key for exit. Alt plus uh, Control plus Q and Alt plus F4. Alt plus F4 is a shortcut key for exiting any of any window. कोई भी window बंद करनी है Alt plus F4 press करते जाओ all the windows will be closed. Shortcut key for save as dialog box. Control plus Shift plus S. Shortcut key for save as dialog box. Control plus Shift plus S. Please note down these things. These could be your one word answers. Clear? Now, how to insert a new cell, row, or column? How to insert a new cell, or row, or a column? Yes. Insert menu. Insert menu cells option. Anji. Insert menu rows option. Insert menu rows option. It will insert the right click on the above the selected cell. जिस cell पे cursor pointer रखोगे आप तो row insert करोगे. Insert menu rows option. Insert the row above that cell. Above that row. And similarly, click on any cell. Insert menu columns option. It will insert a column towards the left side it will insert a column towards the left side always towards the left side theek okay? hai second method hum right click right click uh, insert rows insert, option, insert rows third option then insert cells dialog box will appear 
here you will choose entire row or entire column or a particular cell entire row it will insert a row right click and choose insert right click choose insert it will open insert cells dialog box you can click on entire column so insert cell dialog box is having four options write down four options of insert cell dialog box shift cells down shift cells right entire row entire column these are the four options of insert cells dialog box today we are just doing the practically question answers practically we will also do but today we will are doing the practical question answers practically you will apply the formulas so how will you insert a, cell, a single row click on a cell you want to insert a new row then insert menu rows option similarly insert menu columns option second method right click choose insert option it will open the insert cells dialog box in insert cell dialog box four options are there shift cells down shift cells right entire row entire column clear now if i click on any cell mujhe sirf ek cell insert karna hai now i want ki baki ke jo cells hai jo values hai product 5 hai that should move down in shift cell down so it will insert only one cell here ek hi cell insert hoga similarly if i say click here i say no i want to insert cells control plus plus shortcut key to open the insert cells i want shift cells right this will move towards the right clear okay we will continue with this we are having the how to insert multiple rows multiple columns and delete and then after that functions okay